Robert Fisk has written widely on the Middle East. He's a foreign correspondent for Britain's independent newspaper, and he joins us once again live in the studio. It's good to have you here. So we've seen the EU today introducing yet more even, yes. even tougher, demonstrating sanctions, even yes. tougher sanctions against, <laughs> See, against Syria. I, now, I, I don't now, believe in the sanctions. Right, I was going to say, uh, yeah. now we've got the, the president himself not allowed to set foot inside yeah. Yeah. Europe. Does it matter? Do Does he want to go work? right now? Is he planning? Yeah. Look, um, I know that we say that sanctions help to get rid of the apartheid regime in South Africa. Perhaps, but they also involve demographics. But look, uh, sanctions haven't worked in Iran. They didn't work against Gaddafi before, nor are they now. They didn't work against Saddam's Iraq. We ended up killing 500,000 children, and in the end we had to invade. I'm not recommending invasion, I'm just saying that's what happened. Um, if you go back before the Second World War, sanctions didn't work against Spain. Uh, the Royal Navy was preventing weapons coming in under the League of Nations. Sanctions didn't even work against Mussolini over Ethiopia. So, which again gave us World War II, which wasn't a great all event. Right. So if, if, if sanctions don't work, what does? I suppose it, it's, it's it more important what's going on here. around Syria. Yes, Is the Gulf right? Arabs, okay. Jordan, right. Turkey, etc. Very bad relations with Turkey and Bashar at the moment because the Turks believe that Bashar betrayed them and didn't honour his promises, which he, was he promised to do to the Turks over what he'd give to the Syrians. Relations with the Gulf getting very, very bad. King Abdullah II, uh, King Abdullah II of Jordan is OK at the moment. He's on the phone to Bashar every day, but he's very worried there'll be a trickle, a spillover. Um, I think these things matter very much. And I think that, um, for example, you can see how difficult relations are getting with the Gulf. Mm. You, you take the, the, if you listen to uh, and watch Syrian TV like I do, they, they're spitting at Qatar at the moment. Maybe, I think, because of my favourite television channel, Al Jazeera. Right, <laughs> of course.